Hi, I'm Abe. This is a screencast on Meowcad, what it is, and how to use it. Meowcad is an online electronics design tool that runs completely in your browser. With it, you'll be able to design schematics like this, and boards like this, and eventually create circuits like this. You can check it out at meowcad.com. Meowcad is completely free and open. Feel free to check out the repositories. In this screencast, I'm just going to briefly go through this project. Um, this is an 8-bit heart. Uh, I'll show you some of the features of Meowcad. Um, and then I'll go through and show you how to design a simple circuit in Meowcad uh, and touch on how to submit it to a board manufacturer um, and go through some of the different uh, export features. So this circuit, uh, this is the 8-bit heart. Um, this is just a, a, a relatively simple circuit. Um, this is an Atmega 328, it's a microcontroller, and this directly drives a 4x4 LED matrix. Um, this 4x4 LED matrix uh, displays um, some ticker text that moves across. Um, you can see an animation uh, video, I'll leave it in the comments. Um, other than that, there's a decoupling cap, there's some current limiting resistors, there an I, there's an ISP header, um, and then you can see it just uh, poking out from the, the back here. This is the CR2032 battery, the CR2032 holders on the back. Um, the CR2032 battery are very common uh, pill batteries that you can find in um, pharmacies. Uh, you can sometimes see them in watches. So let's take a look at this project in Meowcat. This is the schematic for the 8-bit heart. Um, you can see here, this is the Atmega 328. On the left is the CR2032 holder. Um, this is the decoupling cap. This is the ISP header. Uh, and this is the main 4x4 LED matrix. Some current limiting resistors there. This little portion is just for uh, some more work um, that I'll show you in the board in just a minute. You can see that um, there are labeled nets. MOSI connects to MOSI over here. Um, and so this is just the high-level description of what the circuit does uh, in a schematic. This is really just meant to connect um, the different components uh, so that you can know where to connect them in the, in the board. Uh, so this is the board portion uh, of the same project, 8-bit heart. Um, these yellow lines, these are the, the board edges. Um, the, this is the two-layer board on the back layer. In green is the CR2032 holder, that's what these three big pads are, and um, a pour, uh, which is connected to the ground. Um, and it's a little hard to see, but on the top layer, layer 15 in red, this is where the Atmega 328 is. Uh, this is the ISP header, this is the decoupling cap, here are the current limiting resistors, and then this on the right here, this is where the uh, 4x4 LED matrix is. Um, one of the nice features of Meowcat is that you can highlight the nets and they'll show up through cross-browser tab communication um, as highlighted in the schematic. Um, so you can see that if I highlight this net here, it gets highlighted in the schematic portion. Um, this is nothing novel. Uh, this is pretty standard in most modern uh, electronics design tools, uh, but it's a nice feature that uh, Meowcat supports. In this instance, it was very convenient because I was space constrained on this, uh, on the placement of the LED matrix and how to route them to the Atmega 328. Um, so I routed these to begin with in the board portion. And then once I figured out the topology, the physical topology, the physical layout, I could um, then connect them up in the schematic. Um, so I worked out all the hard bits in the actual board portion, and then went back and connected it up in the, uh, the schematic, so that was very nice. So now let's try and design a very simple circuit in Meowcat. 
this is the circuit that we're going to design this is a very simple circuit it's just a battery connected to a resistor connected to an LED um, again this is also a CR2032 battery um, we'll design it in the schematic and then we'll hook it up in the board uh, and I'll show you how to export it to a Gerber format um, and highlight some other features of Meowcat. Um, I'll, I'll walk through this. Um, this is just the circuit that we're going to design. Um, uh, this is the kind of hello world of electronics. Um, very simple circuit. Um, and we'll design it in Meowcat. Uh, so let's walk through that now. So let me log in with my account. And I'll create a new project. And we'll call it Simple Circuit. And there it appears at the bottom. Um, so let's take a look at the schematic portion. So this is the schematic. In the middle here is the canvas. This is where our part placement will go. Um, on the left here is the tools. Uh, wires, no connections, labels, delete, help, help. The help screen just has some hotkeys that you can use instead of having to click on the toolboxes every time. On the bottom here is what I like to call the palette. This is just uh, components for easy access so that you don't have to look through the component library for some commonly used components. Um, and then on the right is the actual component library. This holds all of the components that you have access to. Um, on the bottom here is the undo and redo in case you delete something or place something that you didn't want to you can go back or forward depending so we'll start with placing the CR2032 battery holder uh, then we'll place a resistor and a, a LED um, so let's take a look for the CR2032 holder um, and so this appears in the Adafruit library Adafruit has made their library uh, open for public use. Um, as an Eagle project, I converted that to a KiCad project, um, a KiCad library, and then I imported the KiCad library into Meowcad. So let's find the CR2032 battery holder. There it is. Uh, we'll pick the through hole version, and we'll just place that in our schematic. Um, so now let's place the LED, sorry, the resistor, and now let's place the LED. I'm just using hotkeys rotate, E and R. Um, so now we'll place the ground nets, and now we'll place the VCC nets. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this prong a no-con, and that will become clear when we go over to the board portion of this um, the circuit. Uh, so now let's connect everything together. We'll start placing the wires. Instead of hitting the uh, the board, uh, the the tool box every time, I'm just going to use the hotkey W. So W to place the wire. Connect this up. W again, again, and again. There you go. That's the circuit. Nothing too complex. So now let's go to the board portion and um, actually create this circuit. So this is our portfolio again. We're going to go down and we're going to pick the board portion. And so now we're in the same uh, circuit, just the board portion. So this is a KiCadism, if you like, where um, the different components aren't automatically associated with footprints. You have to associate them yourself. Uh, things like Eagle, the um, components and footprints come in pairs, um, but for tools like KiCad and MeowCad, um, this is something that needs to be explicitly connected. Um, 
So I'll show you how to do that now. Uh, let's first connect up the um, CR2032 holder. Uh, so we'll just do a search again, CR2032. We find it in the Adafruit library again. So let's just pick the CR2032 through hole component uh, footprint. And to associate it, we'll just kind of hover and you can see it snap to. And um, when that happens, and you just drop it on there, it associates. And so now this uh, this footprint is associated with this CR2032 footprint. So now let's do the same for the resistor and LED. Um, I'm going to use a KiCad standard uh, footprint library uh, called Discret. Um, so there should be a R5, that seems fine. We'll just use this and associate it. There you go. And then there should be an LED V, and there it is. And we'll just again associate this here. Uh, I'm just using the hotkeys to rotate, E and R. You can see the rat's nest, that kind of gives you a little indication of where things go. Um, so now this is the CR2032 holder, this is the ground, this is the VCC. Um, and these are connected, these are connected, and these are connected. So now we just need to hook them up with traces. So let's keep everything on the same layer, layer 15, the top layer, the red layer. So right now the, bo uh, the bottom layer, layer 0, is, is selected. So let's just select layer 15. You can see the color for the, the trace changes. Um, so we can select this tool, and we can start laying down the tracks. And there we go. Uh, instead of hitting this every time, I'm just going to use the hotkey X. Um, you can see the hotkey X comes up there. Of course, there's also the help that tells you what all the hotkeys are. Anyway, so X, lay this down. There you go. And now we have a circuit that's connected. And now you can see why I picked the NOCON there is because I didn't want to wire this, this portion of the, uh, the CR2032 VCC um, pad up. So we'll just leave that floating. This is VCC as well. It doesn't need to be connected. Um, it's not a big deal. So now the only thing to do is just uh, finish this circuit off by creating the board edges. Um, so we'll just have a convenience tool here which creates a nice little rounded box. And there you go. So this is a very simple circuit. Again, CR2032 connected to resistor and an LED. And let's say we wanted to take a picture for posterity, or maybe to show off to our friends, or maybe to get feedback from someone else. Um, so we can just do a quick snapshot. Uh, and if we're happy with this, we can unlock it. And now we can share this link with everyone else also download this picture. So this is just a nice little convenience uh, convenience function where you can just quickly and easily show pictures of your projects. There's also um, uh, a snapshot. There's snapshot functionality in the schematics as well. So you can share either pictures of your schematic or your board. So now let's take a look at the export functionality. So by clicking the little cloud with the down arrow to download and export the project. Um, it takes a little while, but eventually it downloads. And you can see it here, the simple circuit LED.zip. We just take a, a look at that. We open it up. Um, there's a project directory. And in it, there's um, a Gerber subdirectory. And in this Gerber subdirectory is the are the Gerbers that you'll send out to the board manufacturer. Um, these are basically just geometry files that that um, tell the board manufacturer how to actually produce this board. Um, each of these files holds different layers, the front copper, the back copper, the, uh, the drill points, the silk screen, the board edges. I'm not going to go through every one of them. I'm just going to do a quick spot check of the front copper layer just to show. Um, if we just open this up with GURB V, this is a standard GURB reviewer. Um, we can just do a quick spot check. And this looks fine. You can see this is the, the big ground pad of the CR2032. These are the VCC portions. And this is the resistor on the right. 
and this is the LED on the bottom and you can see that it matches up um, these aren't the these are solid because the the drill information is held in a different Gerber file and then the board edges are held in a different Gerber file so you need to specify all of, you need to give all of the, the Gerber files to the board manufacturer to make sure that they can actually create a, a complete um, board so it's just meant as a quick spot check so things look good <coughs> um, and that's it that's how to create a simple circuit in Meowcad um, as mentioned previously Meowcad is completely free and open you can check it out at meowcad.com um, feedback is always welcome uh, either through issues on the repository page or through uh, the feedback uh, page on Meowcad um, feel free to explore the projects available on Meowcad you can register and log in uh, without any completely free uh, and you're welcome to create schematics and board designs without even registering so you can just dive right in um, Meowcad is alpha software there are sure to be some missing features and bugs um, if you find bugs please give some feedback if you have features that you would like to see please give some feedback I'd love to hear it um, thanks for listening to the screencast I hope it was helpful and happy hacking <laughs>